Hello again, welcome back to another quick tutorial video in Inventor 2017. This time we're looking at saving you a couple of valuable seconds by quickly accessing iLogic Forms um, in subparts or sub-assemblies of the current top level assembly. So like in this scenario here, you may have created a layout of some kind and you want to be able to access the built intelligence, built-in intelligence to uh, subparts of the design. So in this case, these panels have iLogic forms attached with them, um, embedded within them, and if we want to access them manually, what we would have to do is to double click on that panel, and then what I can do is find the, um, the form inside there, and I can click here and say I want to configure this particular panel. So this could be any configuration that we're you know applying in here, that doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just looking at how we can actually access this form a little bit easy, more easily than uh, with that manual method that I just showed you. So there's only a few clicks. All we have to do is double click on it and find the form. But if you want that to be a little bit slicker, if this is something you're going to be doing a lot of, then we can save some valuable time by um, using this iLogic rule here, which uh, is linked after the blog. So let's just quickly look at it. All it's doing is giving you a prompt to pick the assembly you want to modify. Okay. Um, and then it's got a little loop in there. If you hit escape or if you don't select anything, then uh, it'll ask you if you want to cancel. So that's really useful as well, actually. It's not immediately obvious maybe how you do that. And then once you've selected a uh, component, it just um, runs a, a rule called show form in the uh, assembly or the part that you've picked. And if there isn't a rule called show form there, then it will tell you that there isn't a rule. So let's just have a look exactly what this is doing here. If I go into this part here, or this assembly here, here we've got an iLogic rule called show form. That's the one it's looking at. So if I double click on this, this is all it's doing from the standard snippets over here for forms. It's um, running a, a show form um, called configure panel. So that will then look for a form called configure panel and that will show the form. So if I run this rule manually, right click and run that, that brings up the form. Okay, so all we're doing is with our code here, selecting an assembly um, and then running that rule in the assembly, which then shows us the form. Sounds really long winded, but hey, it might save you a bit of time over the long run. So um, if I run this now, we see the prompt on the mouse here, select which assembly you want to modify or press escape to cancel. So if I pick this one, there we are, it runs that rule in the assembly and I can then access my iLogic form here. Um, let's try that again. So if I run this rule again, if I pick that one, it will run the iLogic rule in that part. Um, if I hit escape, this is where that nice little loop comes in. If I uh, right click and run this rule again, here, if I before I select something, if I hit escape, it will ask me, it will tell me, you haven't selected an assembly, do you want to exit? If I say yes, I'm free to go. If I try that again and hit escape and say no, I don't want to exit, it's asking me to pick something again. Okay, so a nice little loop in there to enable us to, you know, to be quite uh, user friendly with how we're selecting these components for modification. Okay, I hope you find this very, very useful and it was a pleasure. See you next time.